Ari Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Yahweh Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? The title of this video is You Have to Be Willing to Make Sacrifices for This Truth. Okay? Um, the Lord requires a sacrifice, man. Okay, this is as simple as that, man. Okay, and you can't be you can't be afraid of making that sacrifice for the Lord, man, because it pays off at the end of the day. Okay, you got some people in this truth who are scared to make sacrifices for this truth. Okay, and that's not how things are supposed to be. Okay. The word sacrifice, okay, the first definition says an an act of slaughtering of an animal or person or surrendering a possession as an offering to God or to a divine or supernatural figure. Okay? Then it says an act of giving up something valued for the sake of something else regarded as more important or worthy okay and this truth is more worthy and important than anything that we have to, to personally uh, have in our lives okay this truth is extremely precious okay and the fact that we was called okay into this truth okay is a a, 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 a blessing from Yahweh okay and by by us being in this truth that means that you know we have to be devoted on to pushing this word out man okay because this truth is important this is our livelihood here okay this is what was gonna you know save our souls at the end of the day okay um so once again, it says an act of giving up something valued for the sake of something else regarded as more important or worthy. Okay. And there are many different things that, you know, you can go down the line of what is more important. Okay. To, um, to us, man. Okay. So, um, continuing on. Okay. It says, um. Uh, contribution okay contribution a gift or payment to a common fund or collection right it says uh, another definition the part played by a person or thing and bringing about a result or helping something to advance okay and we're we're trying to play our part in a, in order to advance this truth okay in order to to worship the lord the right way okay and and once again the lord requires a sacrifice okay um a spiritual sacrifice okay um now i'm gonna get this scripture genesis the 22nd chapter it says that god did tempt abraham and said unto him abraham and he said behold here am i and he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you lovest, and give you, get you into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell you of. Okay? Now, the thing is, like the, like the, the scripture just said, okay, that, that Isaac was Abraham's only son. Okay? And a lot of people, you know, if Abraham was here today, would call him crazy. Okay? That he would go uh, sacrifice his own son, man. Okay? So it says, And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and, and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering 
and rose up and went up onto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Okay? It says, And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And, you know, we, we in the know, we in the spirit, you, you know, if you're in the truth, okay, you know that, that Isaac, okay, is Jehovah's side in the reincarnation, you know? So this this story right here is symbolic of, you know, um, Isaac, okay, um, which was supposed to be Jehovah's side, which the world, that's the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay? That was him being set up to, um, you know, to, to basically show that, you know, it wasn't his time to be sacrificed at that, that point in time. Okay? Okay? It says, And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them, together. And they came to a place where God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Now, like I said, a lot of people will read this scripture and they will be thinking, oh, dang, this guy's crazy. You know, I don't know if I could do that. But the thing is that if the Lord told you to do it, then, then do it, man. You just got to have faith, man, because first off, the Lord, the Lord is the one who gave Isaac, I mean, uh, Abraham his son anyway, man. Okay, and if you in if you in the know of what the scriptures actually say, okay, you know that the Lord uh, came to Abraham and He said that I'm going to come come to you, okay, again in the uh, uh, according to the time of life, okay. That was Yahweh Shah, okay. But then Yahweh told him told Abraham to go uh, sacrifice, uh, you know, Yahweh Shah or Isaac, man, and Abraham was actually about to go do it, okay. Not that he he actually, you know, wanted to go go, you know, do it for you know towards his son, but he understood that hey, when it comes down to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, this truth is more important than, than all that stuff, man. Okay, I'm here to, to serve the Lord, the right way. Okay, it says, and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son, and the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven. And said, Abraham, Abraham, he said, here am I. And he said, lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that you fearest God. And that's that's one of the main points that a lot of these guys, they don't fear the Lord. Okay? You in this truth, and you think, oh, this is my time. You know, I can do whatever the heck I want. It, you don't understand who gave you that time anyway, man. The Lord can take all that shit away from you, man. Okay? So you got to fear the Lord. Okay? And, and think, start thinking spiritual. Okay? It says, Seeing thou has not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Okay. It's in 2 Corinthians 8 and 12. For if, there, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man has, and not according to that he has not. Okay. So, you might not have that much time. Okay. You might not have that much money. You might not have uh, that much of anything. When it comes down to you know what the the truth and what the, you know what the Lord requires, okay. But the fact is that if you're willing to give up that little bit of stuff that you have, okay, then you're going to be accepted for what you have, okay. So so if you're only able to 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 link up with a brother for 15 minutes and do a video, okay, then guess what? 
That's a beautiful thing. Okay? And then a lot of guys, you know, for some reason, you know, you act like they act like um they don't be off for two days out of the week, man. You know, like they just working seven days straight, you know, only getting eight hours of sleep. You know, making excuses. This truth ain't about making no excuses, man. Okay? If the Lord says he wants you to do something, then do something. Okay? Now, I mean, you got to devote all your time, you know, to, to your whole entire day to, to, to go link up with a brother. Okay? To do a video. Okay? Don't mean that as soon as a check comes that, you know, brother's expecting you to throw in your whole entire check. Okay? We ain't, this, this is a brotherhood. Okay, at the end of the day, so we ain't we ain't in no 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 um no not nothing like the, the the how the churches are, man. Okay, you get that time and you you don't you don't get nothing out of it. Okay, but Jake only want want to put something in to something if they feel like they can get something out of it, man. Okay, oh I know I'm I'm only going to give uh, the Lord this amount of time because this uh, this all I got. Because I know I'm gonna be able to get something out of it. No, nah, the Lord wants wants that stuff that 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 you think that you 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 don't have. Okay, He wants that, man. Okay, that 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 uh time that you think you don't have, but you able to just sit down and, and relax and do whatever and just bullshit. No, the Lord wants that, man. Okay, brothers want that. Okay, that's what that's a part of the sacrifice. Okay. It's not a, it's not really a sacrifice if you know, okay, I'm a millionaire, okay, and I can sacrifice, you know, $900,000 of this money. That's not really a sacrifice, man. Okay? But some people don't understand that. Okay? A sacrifice is when you really don't have it and you actually put in in that time to make make sure something happens, man. Okay? Continue with Noah, 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. Every man according to his, his he purpose in his heart, so let him give. Okay, so whatever whatever is the time that you may, may have, the money that you may have, okay? You may have time, you know, that you may spend with your child. Okay, it might not be that much time, right? It said not, not grudgingly or of necessity. For, for God loves a cheerful giver. Okay, and he wants to see. Oh, yeah, he, you know, when brothers call you up, hey, hey, I, you know, you're free, try to do a video, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and you, you like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now, but hey, for the Lord, I'm a, I, hey, I do it, man. 15 minutes, hey, I don't got no problem when it comes down for the truth. Now, now, what Jake will want. You know, they want want, want, want guys to call, call them up. Hey, man, I got, you know, 10 bitches right now. You know? And and, 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 and they, they they ready to go right now. You know, and, and, and Jacob be ready. Oh, shoot. Oh, yo, I'm ready right now. You know? Whenever it's something for, for, their, for their benefit, man. It says the Lord requires, a, he, he loves a, a cheerful giver. Someone that, that, that's sincere and they love it, man. Okay? Luke 16 and 10. He that is faithful in the least is faithful and, and also in much. So, it, you know, with, 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 with Abraham, okay, which he's the father of, you know, uh, many nations, okay, the, the the fact is that Abraham he only had one son, okay. So if Abraham had you know many sons, then that he that means that he's still going to be faithful unto Yahweh by some Yahushua, okay. If Abraham had one dollar, he said, and and the Lord said, Abraham, I want that one dollar, man. Okay. Abraham would would give that, okay. And the scripture says, like I said, like if you're faithful, okay, and the fact that you, you don't have it, okay, if, if, if you're faithful in the fact that you only have a dollar, okay, and you're willing to, to give up that dollar, okay, when you have, you know, the kingdom and you have all the riches, then that means you're going to be faithful, man, okay? 
if you if you don't got that much time right now to to, to link up with brothers and you you got you don't ever link up with brothers then when we in the kingdom how we going you got all that time what you ain't going how you going how we know you're going to be able to, to, to do that man if you ain't showing that you willing to do it right now yeah in the kingdom you, we, we're going to be in our right minds but but that don't mean that you're going to get in it on on the first try man okay those people that that are up on them chariots those those are the people who who who, who offered up those spiritual sacrifices man okay and it could be your body man okay hey you know because some some guys be out there at camp and they be wanting to go home already man you only been out there 30 the hour 30 minutes to an hour and you already ready to go home man okay some guys with that that saturday you know to 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 to, to, to do whatever the fuck they want to in this world but you can, you know, ain't nobody saying that you can't do certain things, man. Okay? But the Lord requires what, what's his, man. Okay? And your life is yours. It, it's not yours. It's, it's the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord is, is trying to, 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 to buy us, man. You, you've you been bought with a price, man. Okay? So you're supposed to be justifying your Abba Shemiah Shah, okay, and your mind, body, and spirit, man. Okay, it says, and he that is unjust in the least is also is unjust also in much. Okay, so if you're not showing that you right when you don't have it, okay, then when you actually have it, you going you ain't gonna really you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be trustworthy, man. Okay, the Lord requires a, a, a sacrifice, man. Okay, so with that, I want to say, Solomon.